What's up, love bugs and love muffins? It's Mama Love, and I am back with another video. Um, I'm sorry, I've been busy moving and everything. But, this is not a moving tour or nothing like that. Not set up quite the way I want to yet and all of that stuff. So, uh, But I am here with a, 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 a review. I went out and got this, y'all. An air fryer. Now I got the good deal, I think. I got this at Ollie's. Got an Ollie's out here. Um, for 50 bucks. Now, if this don't work the way I want to, I will be trying the one that's seen on TV, which they got in Walmart, I think. But this is the uh, Chefman Air Fryer. And I am trying to see, they say full flavor, zero guilt. This is supposed to be with non-oil in it. Here's the air fryer. I got it preheating right now. Ah! Like I'm ready to put the chicken in the bowl here. Um, this is the chicken. Um, I used Louisiana chicken mix. But I actually took um, my hands and um, kind of fingered or fingered the uh, oil onto the chicken. Okay. So I'm, I'm finna do this before y'all. And I'm putting the pieces in here. And it's time actually... It's got a time on it um, for the uh, chicken, for the, you know, the timer and everything. And yeah, y'all gonna see me in the play. I'm gonna drop these pieces in here. I'm kind of nervous because, sorry y'all, I'm drinking coffee now. I'm, I'm kind of nervous. Ooh, it's frying. It's, it's, is it supposed to be smoking out the top, Terrell? Jesus. Let me turn this temp down a little bit because I, I do have it on 360. I don't even think that's high, but. Anyway, let me back my camera up. Mm -mm. No, baby. Messing that one up. So, I'm gonna carefully. Ooh, the top is hot. Pull this out. Okay. And I'm gonna place the chicken in there. I'm not gonna place much because they said uh, 100 to 400 grams. So you're not supposed to really crowd out this pan, you know, as if we was doing it on a, um, I got five pieces in there so far. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and, you know, do. I don't want to overdo it. Make sure the door is, um, pushed in real good. Uh, set my timer. I've already preheated it. So I'm going to set this timer to 18 to 20 minutes. I'm going to put it on 18, uh, I mean 20 minutes. And I got my fryer, you know, up to, uh, let me see, 360. I'll leave it like that, wait a minute. Let me see, yeah, no, top is at 360. And so that's what I'm doing. And I'm doing like five pieces to see at a time, just to see how it goes or whatever. So anyway, y'all, what's been up? I had just been praising and thanking God for a Move, sale, you know what I'm saying? Everything just coming into play. Everything's just taking its time. When it's always God, you and God is in it, y'all, everything always goes smooth. It always just falls in your lap. Everything just, everything is good, except, you know, I was a little disappointed uh, with the movers. Uh, I'm not gonna put them out there like that, though. I said I was, but I I'm not gonna do that. Um, just a couple of things that concerning my furniture that had kind of you know got me upset you know it's brand new furniture on um, every piece in here it's brand new and I just don't expect to have you know scratches on my furniture when I get it back if I send it out the door with the moving company brand new I don't expect it to come back looking like I, I, I uh, got it off Craigslist if you know what I mean you know not that there's nothing wrong with Craigslist but I had brand new furniture y'all know that table I was crazy about this one the dinette set I did a video on it remember y'all I was like see ain't she pretty and uh I did a video on her and uh I was happy about this table and I still am um and the center part of it is wood as you can see there are dug marks and in, in my wood that was not there it's a brand new table y'all um I barely uh, sat at this table. If y'all noticed in Georgia, uh, we were usually, so I sat at this, 
you know, table. But usually the kids and stuff was always at the island part. You know, I have a little island here as well. But, you know, they was always at the island part of the table where I had the three chairs and everything set up. And, you know, it just made me upset the fact that, um, <clears throat> you know, I was very careful with it. And I'm not thinking I'm all of that. But I'm pretty sure if y'all like me, y'all, I'm very particular about my stuff. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if I'm being careful with it, I mean, when I moved, um, I took my time, not just me, the kids and everything. We, we, I mean, we, we wrapped mirrors. We wrapped mirrors with, with blankets and then went around it with saran wrap and taped it. Um, just, you know, just to, you know, give you a brief idea how careful I was with everything. Um, we wrapped the dresses real well, well with the, uh, wrap. Each dresser was, uh, wrapped real well. Um, you know, just so it wouldn't be any type of damage to my furniture, letting them know this is how I am about it. I'm particular. A lot of blankets were, uh, used over the, uh, not a lot of blankets, but a blanket was used over each TV and wrapped, you know, and then taped. And, you know, just to be real particular about everything, you know. And it was just disappointing to me to not only have to wait a week, um, over, you know, um, I mean, I scratched that because I was like, well, stuff come up, you know what I'm saying? I was upset about that because I'm like, hey, I moved in here on the 22nd, like, what's up? You know, I didn't expect to get my stuff right that day, but I did expect maybe the next day or a couple of days after that, but not, you know, going into the following week with your stuff. You know, I just felt like that slot should have been open for me, um, saved for me instead of other clients because this person was paid up front. So I was kind of upset about that. And then, like I said, to get my things, um, you know, that it wasn't intact, not just my table, but, um, you know, Tina's bedroom suit. Um, that's, that's, that's new. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, when she got it back, she was like, my mom just upset because I don't even want to put this in my room. It's got nicks all around it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was just bumpity bumpity bump, you know, like it fell or something, you know, and it's just, you know, I, I don't know. I'm just not going, I'm not going to give his name out because I'm not going to do that. But, you know, he saw that I was upset and he came up and he, you know, sat down and was, you know, talking with me and he was saying that I know that you not in Atlanta now and I'm in Atlanta and you're all the way in Michigan, but I will call some places out here in Michigan for you um, to prepare that table and I will have it set up and I will pay the bill. So I'm thankful, you know what I'm saying, for that. But at first I was like, ah, you in Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? I'm in Michigan, you ain't here, nothing. I'm, you, you, you forgot about me. You didn't got your money off the top, dropped the furniture off, boom, you out. You know what I'm saying? So that's how that was, but, um, he called me, you know, he called me and um, he was real concerned and um, he was, you know, giving me, you know, uh, what you call it, what's the word? He was giving me, you know, confirming with me, you know, reassuring me is the word I'm looking for. He was reassuring me that everything was going to be all right and that, you know, he's still looking into it for me and all that. He just hadn't forgot about me. So I appreciate that part. Um, but yeah, so I'm sitting here with an air fryer trying something new. And uh, having me some coffee. I know that y'all was probably like, where's she at? I know I'm looking hit too. But hey, I've been tackling this this house and I've been tackling upstairs and everything. Just tackling everything and trying to get everything in order. Washing up clothes and just, you know, doing your regular routine. You know how it is when you move in, you're wiping everything down. And first, I'm. Uh, as far as my uh, stuff because it was clean before I boxed it but I like to clean my stuff like even my dishes and silverware everything was cleaned and stuff before I left Georgia but I like to take it out that box and reclean everything again because it traveled you know what I'm saying it was sitting in the storage for a month you know so I just was wiping down everything and practically here's uh, this is a brand new um, condo I'm in um, this will be my third uh, place that brand new uh, 2017 was a brand new home in Alabama and then Georgia of course 2018 was a brand new home and then now here in Michigan uh, a brand new home brand spanking I'm talking about the first one lived in here my spirit you know is, is up in here no evil crazy spirits up in here but I did come up in here and I prayed to the Lord to bless my home um, I think when I First got the key, I came and sat in here by myself. I didn't have the kids with me and um, wasn't no place to sit, so I sat on the stairs. 
and I just prayed to the Lord about my um, home. I told him he's welcome here. This is his home. It's because of him. Um, it's because of the blessings that he placed over my life. Um, and I thank and praise God for him. And, and, and every room in the house, I want the Lord's dwelling in his spirit in my home. I don't play that evil spirit stuff, you know. But being that I was a person here, um, I was able to, you know, worship and praise the Lord and bring the Lord's spirit right on up in here with me. Wherever you go, bring God. So, I don't know, y'all. I'm just, I'm just real happy about the space. I'm real happy and excited that um, I don't have no yard work to do. Which I really didn't do it in the other place. I just called a, a man to do the grass. But I ain't got to worry about that. You know, worried about no snow and ice removing and all of that type of stuff. I ain't got to fool with that stuff no more. And uh, basically just reuniting with family. Um, you know, reuniting with um, saints and different things. It's a beautiful thing. You know, it's, I'm just, I'm happy. You know, I'm so happy, y'all. I... It's like a low is just like off my back. God is so good. I'm telling you from the different times when I was sitting in my house in Georgia and I was just sitting there like I just can't wait to get back to Michigan and stuff like that. It was like, and you know how I was feeling excited that I was going but I couldn't wait to get back. Now I'm back and I can actually say that I'm happy. And on the way here, when we crossed that line to Michigan, it was like me and my kids, I said, give me your hand. I was driving, I said, you know, hold his hand, she hold yours, and we just hold hands, we pray. And um, I was saying, Lord, that we entering in Michigan, that everything that, you know, that was negative and bad and, you know, um, downfalls and all of that type of stuff and heartbreaks and all that, that we left back in Georgia, that this is a brand new fresh start, that we move on. And Lord, the, thank you for the doors that you have closed and we thank you for the new doors that you've opened new beginnings you know what i'm saying new relationships um it may not be new people but god changes people you know what i'm saying and i'm thankful for that and um as we prayed that prayer you know i received it i said i'm gonna be happy in the name of jesus i'm gonna be happy and um i had a uh, talk to my daughter yesterday and the question she asked me mama you happy i said yes i am I'm happy. I, I am very happy and I'm pleased. And um, I could see that she was happy that I was happy because she had a big old smile on her face when I was FaceTiming her. Um, she she was happy that I was happy, you know. She was happy uh, for me. And uh, I, I am. I'm so happy, y'all. I'm just blessed. Um, I'm almost finished. Um, I'm, I'm still... Um, packing away putting stuff away i don't believe in when you come into a home you know you just some people just take forever like putting stuff away you know what i'm saying they boxes around your house for months but i don't play that i'll come right in like hey uh when he brought the furniture it was like up oh, just going here i'm already in i already didn't mop the area i mean swept and mopped it and I, yep lay that rug down about the vacuum that to table on top of that i mean just set stuff in places because i ain't got time for no boxes and i ain't got time to be where the silverware at what box is it in i ain't got time for that so by the time me and the kids got done with the downstairs last night it took us about i don't know about six hours you know but by the time we hit up that upstairs it was like nope shower time and the bed you know what i'm saying we didn't have the bed set up but we had them where we could lay them box springs down and put that mattress on there and clean sheets and get on in that bed. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't, I wasn't about to tackle it. So most of that's tackled, you know, the saran wrap and all that's taken off and clothes uh, put away. I just got, a, you know, a few stuff to do where, you know, I'm finished. And then I was out just doing a little shopping for the bathrooms because I got three bathrooms here as well. And uh, I always say, start with your bottom bathroom because I was just redoing everything like I didn't want to take the same um you know stuff like you know the same shower curtains and stuff like that I, I wanted to refresh everything even the toilet bowl and plungers they brand new stuff you know I wanted to start over again and um of course I kept my pictures and shelves and stuff like that but I just wanted to you know redo each bathroom over and over Tina and Terrell doing their bathroom the way they want to but as far as the guest bathroom down here um, I'll show y'all what I did so far to it in the middle of the floor because I uh, ain't uh, putting pictures together. Um, this the guest bathroom. I, I, I want to put a big old, uh, you know, let me back up a little bit so you can see. Um, just the, you know, just the, um, I like the flooring in here. The hardwood or a different type of flooring, but this is what I, you know, just doing little stuff, you know, to, I want a big, 
plant there with the little things coming out in the corner or something like that. And maybe a little, I don't want to do too much. This is a, this, maybe a little table area with some scents or something in there, or, you know, something like that. But, um, that's just about it. Um, a little nook area over there. Uh, this is my area where I, I gonna do videos and tarot edits and, or some days, you know, yeah, talk videos and stuff like that. But, you know, I, I, I'll, I'll do a house tour uh, maybe later on. But I just wanted to sit down and chit chat with y'all why this oven, I mean, this air fryer is uh, on. Hopefully, we'll have some crispy chicken. So, I'm five minutes into, uh, I don't want to make this video too long, though, trying to wait on this air fryer. So I'm five minutes into this. Uh, I see it, the timer on it. I've been talking my tail off. Five minutes and I'm almost done. Now they said, uh, you, as you can see on the timer, um, turn it up like a little, like maybe to 400, or maybe about three minutes before it's about to go off and seed on it kind of brown a little faster for you. I don't know. I ain't gonna be cooking no, uh, if this thing worked like I want it to work, I will be, uh, like I said, going to get that bigger one and using it because I don't want to, I'm not frying no chicken on this, y'all, or anything on it. I don't want to. First off, I need to pot the tight, proper skillet for it because when I was in Alabama, I had one of these and I used my rough iron skillet. It wasn't a good idea. I was uh, scraping it. Y'all, I still have the cleaner to this too. Um, I was you're supposed to scrape it with a razor and it just got all, you know, I didn't want to mess it up. So uh, I was best, it was best that I use like a, the, the air fryer. And if this thing, they say it fry your chicken real crispy. So hopefully it's going to fry it crispy, y'all. We're going we gonna to see. We're going to see. We're going to see how it fry. And it's about to stop. And we're going to see how we did. Now, I don't know if I was supposed to move them, them chickens around to see. I mean, turn them and stuff, because I sure didn't do that. But I don't mind cooking it. I mean, you know, if I have to, uh, maybe for like another, I don't know, depends on how it looks, 10 minutes or something, because I ain't got time for no, uh, I don't be playing that raw chicken stuff, y'all. I just don't do it. So, yeah. Out there now. Y'all, the little dinger just went off. So, dinger. I'm gonna set this camera just like this. Hold on. Just a little bit. <laughs> and we gonna see how this turned out. Uh, I may have to. Okay. Hold on. Was I supposed to turn this off? Yeah, let me turn this off because no, it ain't gonna do with it. So. Okay. So let's see how this look, y'all. Look at this, y'all. Let me show up close because some people ain't showing it up close. That's how it look up close. Yeah, I'm gonna dig around in it, y'all, because I'm gonna play that uh salmonella. Salmonella that's not my cousin. Oh yeah. Salmonella. Nutella. Let's move it around a little bit. It look good though, y'all. Turn it over. And uh I don't know, it look good. Look good, girl. Okay, I'm gonna push this. Hold on, hold on, y'all. I'll make sure I push this back in good. So what are you gonna put in the air fryer? Can you can you make a dessert? Okay, so I'm gonna turn it back up to three, four, I mean four, and then I'm gonna do, let me say, maybe about five more minutes. And we're gonna see how we do. Okay. Let's just see. Uh, I mean, I, I'm not gonna leave it in a hole full of five minutes because I'm afraid that, uh, you know, it turned out pretty good, but I don't wanna be opening it back up and it be, you know, crispy. Uh, I mean, like burnt. Okay, y'all, so I let that go for another five minutes. And... Hold up, y'all, I'm gonna grab a paper plate. Nobody feel like washing all this. Mm -hmm. Okay. No more. 
And we shall see how it go. And then I'm gonna dump the other little five in there. All right. So here's how we turned out here. Woo! <laughs> Look at God. Look at God. Crispy. Hello. I'm going to let y'all see uh, us eating on these, okay? Because uh, I, I ain't going to tell y'all look, it look good and crispy and then bite into it. I'm going to let y'all know some blood up in here before I bite into it. So being that it's all preheated, this is, I'm going to stick these in here like this again. My other ones. Because that looked good. It turned out right. Like I said, I oiled them with my hands one by one. And I put a uh, Louisiana chicken seasoning uh on them and uh i ain't sticking my hand in there hold up push that in it's already preheated basically i cooked it on 360 i'm gonna put that timer back on 20 minutes because that's what it took hold up y'all let me wash my hand and try one of these Turn this around on me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to bless this food. Let it be nourished to my body, Lord God. Purify from any impurities, God. We ask in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God, please don't let it be raw when I bite in this. Because I ain't even digging around in it. In the name of Jesus. It's crispy. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is so crispy. I, I, I'm, I'm, wow. Y'all, $50 at Ollie's. I don't know if y'all have an Ollie's in some states that y'all in, but Michigan got an Ollie's. And what Ollie's is, is a um, bargains on, they say bargains on stuff that's not cheap. Bargains on good stuff. Cheap, they say cheap, cheap prices on good stuff. That's what, the, that's what they motto is or whatever, but. Oh my God, this is crispy. Oh my goodness. Oh, we ain't got no hot sauce, do we? Oh, but we got a ranch. I don't like that. <laughs> and y'all, as y'all can see, like I said, I showed y'all, they crispy. It's a bite, they're finished. Y'all, uh, 18 minutes, uh, no, 20 minutes, but I, I was a little un nervous, so I put another five minutes after I checked them and moved them around, so. What's up, my glove bugs and blood gluffins? Scrub mugs and Anyway, blood it's good. Gluffins. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Ah. I got more to come. Nah, uh, shut up. We got By more the way, to come. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. My video. Yes, I can be. Yeah, go. Go. You for real? Go. Interrupt him up. Anyway, AT and T. Y'all tainted in her feelings, okay? She interrupted me while I'm talking. I'm trying to end this video. AT&T was supposed to be here today to hook up my internet. And uh, they didn't come, so I got to wait August 6th. I got the fastest internet speed, gigabytes, whatever, a thousand. And uh, upload my videos within, what, five minutes. You know what I'm saying? So I'm so upset. But this video will be edited tomorrow or edit it tonight and, and upload it tomorrow at, <laughs> see what I'm saying y'all, at Starbucks. What? Wherever, Tim Hortons, wherever they upload fast at. Uh, comment in, uh, uh, down below where, uh, what place you can upload fast, just, you know, until my videos. Cause sometimes Tim Hortons, sometimes it's Starbucks, and sometimes it's McDonald's, but. And we're here to talk about YouTube drama. Peace out, Jesus. <laughs> Be blessed.